Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is Amatazar from the Chicago camp coming back at you again with part two of Don't Eat the Cupcakes. In part one of Don't Eat the Cupcakes, we uh, were introduced to um, Perkins. This is, uh, what is his name? Um, Dennis Perkins, that's his name. Dennis Perkins, the Louisiana law enforcement officer, okay, who received a 100-year prison sentence for uh, rape and child pornography. And most notably, he ejaculated on cupcakes that his wife or then wife, who was a school teacher, would serve to the children. Okay. And um, she received a 41 year prison sentence. Uh, And that was a reduced sentence because she agreed to testify against him. But because he uh, pled guilty and, uh, and admitted that he was guilty, her testimony wouldn't carry much weight against him since he was already uh, pleading guilty. So her reduced sentence was 41 years. So she won't see the light of day for 41 years as as he won't see the light of day for 100 years. Now, the thing that's so, uh, you know, uh, outside of the fact of what was so sickening about what he did, right, is just the fact that the audacity of Esau, you know, because, you know, his his he was offended. Because he was offended by uh, his own, Esau was offended by Esau, they made sure he wasn't going to see the light of day again, okay? Because they were offended that this man ejaculated into these cupcakes, nutted on these cupcakes, and fed it to their children, all right? Meanwhile, in Chicago... The murderer of Laquan McDaniel was set free after three years in prison. There's video video evidence contradicting his statement, okay, about the threat, which led to him emptying 16 rounds into this young so-called black boy, all right? He was set free after three fucking years. So that goes to show you, all right, (laughs) this justice system is is very, very wicked, okay? You can get 100 years for nothing on some cupcakes feeding it to Edomite children, all right? You 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 ain't going to get out of prison, but you kill a so-called black man, and you just do three years. You can get, it take longer to get a high school diploma. Three years? Three years. For taking a man's life. Just take, just boom, take his life. But that's all right. Um, All of these things, they're not getting away. So none of this, none of this is, uh, they're not getting away with any of this. All right. So let's get into the lesson. All right. So this is part two of Don't Eat the Cupcakes. So let's start off. Let's get the understanding that all men were created in diverse ways. So all men are not the same. Okay. Because Esau is not like um, Israel or Jacob. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach 33 and 10. And it reads, and all men are from the ground and Adam was created of earth in much knowledge. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai have divided them. And made their ways diverse. Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified and set near himself. Who would that be? That would be the Israelites, okay? The peculiar people, all right? A nation of priests and kings. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them 
as like him best. Now that's beautiful. And we're gonna we're gonna go into Romans the ninth chapter, all right, where we're gonna talk about the clay and the and, and the clay, all right, and the vessels that were created for honor and the vessels for dishonor. Verse 14. Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. All right, opposites, okay? That's what opposites mean. Sirach 18, one through, through, one through three. He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. The Lord, Yahweh, only is righteous, and there is none other but he who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. For he is the king of all, but his power, by his power, dividing holy things among them from profane. Okay? So let's see what profane is. All right. Profane. Profane. Strong's H twenty four ninety. Halal. Profane, defile, pollute, desecrate, begin to profane oneself, defile oneself, pollute oneself, ritually, sexually, to be polluted, to be defiled, to profane, make common, defile, pollute, to violate the honor of, okay, all right, and there's more, but we get the idea. Okay, Sirach 42, 24. All things are double one against another, and he have made nothing imperfect. All right, so even though <laughs> Esau Edom is wicked as hell, all right, <laughs> the, the Bible says that he, that he have made nothing imperfect. One thing establishes the good or another, and who shall be filled with beholding his glory? OK, so now what have we just done? All right. We've looked at Sirach 33, Sirach 18 and Sirach 42, understanding that the Lord made things diversely. OK, one thing against another. All right. Now, let's look at Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? So now we get into Romans Okay, the ninth chapter. All right. Now, Romans 9 and 13. Okay, now the Lord is talking about how he hated Esau. But you know what, though? I just can't go into 9 13 without starting from 9 1 because you got, because, hey, it's, it's, it's one against the other, right? We just got through saying that one against the other. So let's let's do this. Let's do this. I can't go in there and not get all of it because we just got through talking about one against the other. So you got to we got to put it in perspective. So let's go. Let's get all of this.
There we go. Let's get it. And let's get all of them. Okay. All right. So this is Romans 9, 1 through 12. I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that myself were cursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises, whose are the fathers, and of whom is concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came. All right. Who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel, neither because they are of the, are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the Most High, but the children of the promise accounted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by, by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that call it. It was said unto her that the elder shall serve the younger. Okay. Now we pick up in Romans 9 and 13 because Paul established, all right, who the Israelites are. The Israelites are the ones who got all these blessings from the Lord. Okay. And now we get into the difference between Jacob and Esau. Romans 9 and 13 through 23. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall ye say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? It says, the Most High forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Okay, so the Lord raised up Pharaoh for the purpose of showing his power. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he harden it. Thou wilt say unto me, Why doth ye yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? But nay, nay, Salakia, nay, but O man, who art thou that reply repliest against the most high? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay? For the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. What if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? And that, let me see. I lost my spot. Nay. Okay. 21. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he hath afore prepared unto glory. Okay. 
So the vessels of honor, okay, are the Israelites, all right? And the vessels of dishonor is Esau, Edom, the wicked, okay? And it's clear, all right? Right now, um, they're in their kingdom and they're ruling and they make laws, all right? They pass laws that they choose to pass, all right? Uh, they're not equal. They're not balanced. They don't have proper judgment. All right. But the Lord is going to set all things in order. OK, he's going to set everything in order right in front of their face and reprove them. And that's just the way, what it is. OK. All right. So you had uh, the Edomite get 100 years in prison. All right. Because of the cupcakes. All right. And then you had the other Edomite get three years after taking the life of uh, Israelite. All right. So I pray that this lesson has been uh, edifying until the next one. Shalom.